So to freeze frame uh, what you're seeing in program, you go down to the bottom right hand corner of the Globecaster window and you click the snap button. Snap will freeze frame whatever is in the program bus of the Globecaster. You can see there's our row and torch. All that does is freeze it. It doesn't actually assign it for output anywhere, and that's what we need to do. So what you want to do is you want to click and drag from this window and go over to any of the frame store buses in program. So that can be either frame store one or frame store two. Maybe you're using the system and you've got some other options. Um, we're just going to drop it right onto frame store one, and then we click that button to make frame store one on program. Now you can see that on program we have our row and torch. And if we change the graphic on the inscriber, that won't change because that is our freeze frame. Once you have the image freeze framed on the Globecaster and that frame store is active, we need to route the Globecaster to the LCD display on the floor. Uh, just above the switcher panel and just above the camera control units, this is the switcher or the router that you're going to use. This top line here represents all of the inputs going to this switcher or router. And the output on the first line is the LCD display, which is down on the floor. So all you have to do is pick which input you want to use. VTR1, VTR2, CG, another router. Hey, there's the Globecaster. Right now it's input number five. So you click number five. It's blinking. It's basically saying, are you sure you want to do this? If you are sure you want to do this, you're going to go over to the side of the router where it's blinking take and push it. This will officially take that source and assign the Globecaster to the LCD display on the floor.